The family of a seven-year-old boy wants answers about why their child was handcuffed at school. A photo of the child in handcuffs went viral. Dallas ISD says the restraints were used to prevent the child from hurting himself, but the family says that does not explain everything. Fox 4's Young Anglin is at the Gabe Allen Charter School that's in West Dallas with more from the family and the attorney. Dion. Yeah, Heather, the seven-year-old boy, as you mentioned, is once again in the custody of his family. They got the news uh, while we were with them just a couple of hours ago. However, as you mentioned, they still want answers as to what happened on May 9th at this school to warrant handcuffs on their little boy. Well, the photo has garnered lots of attention on social media. The seven-year-old student in handcuffs standing between two DISD police officers. His mother says she was called to come pick up her son from Gabe P. Allen Charter School that day. She says it had become a familiar routine as her son is a special needs student and often has episodes causing him to act out. But last week, she says when she arrived, administrators told her he'd been taken to a mental facility to prevent harm to himself and to others. Now, DISD says it cannot discuss specifics due to student privacy laws, but the district sent a communication to parents in wake of the viral photo on social media. In part, it says the image you may have seen posted is of a student while he is being restrained to protect himself against any further harm. We ask for your help during this period to not continue to spread misinformation. Today, the boy's mother and grandmother, along with their attorney, got word of the seven-year-old's release from that facility just as they began a news conference. We spoke to the hospital administrator this morning. Uh, his treating physician there was going to do a uh, walkthrough today to meet with him. Um, and we are very thankful this is happening, but to meet with him and determine that he's no longer a threat to himself. And uh, at this point, the doctor, his treating physician has determined he's no longer a threat to himself and he should be released back to his mom. Now the family says they believe they were unfairly denied involvement into the decision-making process with their seven-year-old. Now they have requested detailed, a detailed accounting of what took place on May 9th. Now also they have questions about whether the staff in place here on that day had the proper training to deal with their son's, uh, as they put it, well-known um, issue regarding his special needs. That's the latest live here. Heather, back to you. All right, Dion, thank you.